So how many of you, as we enter into the season of Thanksgiving, are finding it harder and harder to be thankful? And that every time you turn on the evening news or get online or, or talk to someone, all you ever hear about is how everything seems to be falling apart or how our world seems to be going to hell in a handbasket. Well, if you're one of those people whose thankfulness has been overwhelmed by worry and dread these days, I would like to suggest to you two things to ponder during this season that I hope will pull you up out of all of that unthankfulness so you can begin to see just how blessed you really are. So suggestion number one is this. Turn off the news, put down your phone, and take some time to examine your life. Or in other words, instead of spending a couple of hours each day filling your brain with all the worst things that have happened in a given day mixed with a bit of weather and sports, what if you took a step back and spent some time examining just how good your life really is? For example, when was the last time you took a moment just to breathe? In that at this very moment, you have the ability to take in oxygen and push out carbon dioxide, which you do for the most part without even thinking about it, which keeps you alive. Or to get at how awesome this is, try to stop breathing for about a minute and see what happens. When was the last time you got still enough to, to hear your heart beating within your chest? or to listen for that muscle in your body that circulates all that blood and keeps you alive that you don't even think about because it just works. When was the last time you took a, a moment to look at your hands and your feet and then thought about how these miraculous tentacles, these limbs that we have, through the power of thought, we tell them what to do and they just do it, which gives us the ability to come from point A to point B and to pick up and manipulate almost anything. When was the last time you thought about that three pound lump of flesh that is located inside of your skull? That because it is the most complex and exquisite thing that has been discovered in this universe, gives you the ability to not only think, but to do anything at all. Now to, to move beyond our bodies, when was the last time you took a moment to notice that you have a nice place to live? that keeps you protected from the environment and all sorts of comfort because it's climate controlled? What about the fresh water that is pumped into your house anytime you want it for not only drinking, but taking hot showers and flushing our toilets? And if you don't think all of that is amazing, try not using your toilets or taking a hot shower for a week and see what happens. When was the last time you took a moment to think about all the food that you have in your house and how your biggest problem when it comes to food is not if you will eat, but when you will eat? When was the last time you noticed your enemies walking down your street with assault rifles because you were living in the midst of war? How many of you know what it's like to hear bombs dropping on your hometown with the fear that your house might be the next? How many of you have a job that you spend most of your time complaining about, yet it provides everything you need to live the incredible life you are living? And then what about your kids? Are they healthy and happy for the most part? Or is the biggest worry in your kid's life how they did on a test, if they won the basketball game, or that there's nothing to do? Yeah, well, all of that is just the tip of the iceberg of what you will discover if you will turn off your news, put down your phones, and take some time to examine just how good your life really is. Suggestion number two which is something I give as one of those Jesus freaks. Trust God. Learn to trust God. Or you need to know that it doesn't matter what's going on in your life or in this world. At any given moment, we serve a God who will never leave or forsake us, a God who was with us and for us and is bigger than anything we will ever face which is not only something we should be thankful for every single moment of every single day, but is something that allows us to relax a bit. And instead of spending all of our time on doom and gloom, which we're so good at these days, we can actually look up and catch a glimpse of just how lucky most of us really are. I mean, we truly are some of the most blessed people to ever live on the face of the planet, and we need to begin to see it. 
So with that, I offer all of you a happy Thanksgiving. And may you eat till you can't see straight and then take the best nap of the year. Grace and peace, my friends.